For a new product, the engineering department designs the product and validates it with simulation. Then, the initial prototypes are derived for testing. To save money in product development, shorten time to market, and improve product performance, the industries tend to use more and more simulations and turn towards virtual product development, where physical prototypes can be produced late in the development cycle. Product performance improvement can be achieved by using different concepts of optimization methods, like parametric, topology, or shape optimization. In this course, let us understand the concept of parametric analysis. Parametric optimization starts with an arbitrary computer-aided engineering CAE process, most likely with such an initial simulation model representing a real product or, sim or situation. This model can be everything from an equation to a detailed numerical analysis of a 3D model, so it might be an electric motor, a crash test of a car, a bridge, or a fan of a jet engine. Let's say we have a structural simulation model of this hook. Once this is set up, as an engineer, you automatically ask the question, what if? What if I change the geometry, like radius, opening angle, thickness, and depth? What if I change this boundary condition, like different load cases, load scenarios, and operating conditions? What if manufacturing starts and geometry or the material properties change due to tolerances? This is automatically linked to the question, can we do better? So intuitively, you look at the effect on the results side. Is it better? Is it worse? You might look for stress, mass. In other disciplines, it might be in efficiency, a pressure drop, or frequency. Or in general, the cost of the product. What you are naturally doing here is manual parametric analysis and optimization. By asking what if you selected input parameters, by asking is it better, you find a measurable quantity identifying the performance of the product and you have defined output parameters. Now let's make it more general. Instead of looking at the hook, it can be again the electric motor, a crash test of a car, a bridge, or a fan of a jet engine. And we can even go one step further and say, whatever it is, let's say this is my CAE process, I'm providing input parameters to a CAE process, generating results according to the inputs, and getting output parameters. And if you do this automatically, this is called process integration. For specific values for each of the parameters, for example, B equal 5, C equal 2 millimeters, and the corresponding stress and mass evaluated by the numerical solver, this is called a design. The fun part for every engineer is now playing with two parameters, which may have three potential values, which are called levels. For each parameter, covering all combinations, you will end up with nine designs. But then, you count the real number of parameters and end up with 10, 50, or 100 parameters. Let's imagine we have only 10 parameters to cover again all combinations with three levels means running more than 50,000 designs. This is the problem. Here, you can say, stop. Help me to do this automatically. I do not want to run this manually. Here, you need the process integration. Help me to make this systematic. I need a smart approach that can handle more parameters with fewer designs. This is called design optimization. What can help here is a process integration and design optimization tool 
or a short Baidu tool like ANSYS OptiSlang. Process integration means to automatize the manual simulation process and design optimization to conduct variation analysis with the aim to better understand your design and the different options to know which screws to turn to improve desired properties of your product and to find an improved design that's performance is largely independent of random perturbations.